In previous step we removed demo content from our website and now it's time to configure WooCommerce. On the left hand side of your sidebar from the menu click on the WooCommerce. If by any chance you see a warning that WooCommerce database needs to be updated, click on the Run the Updater and confirm it, if your browser displays a pop-up window. If you do not see this message, that's perfectly fine. You'll see the WooCommerce dashboard right away, as displayed on the screen now. WooCommerce dashboard can be accessed anytime by clicking just on the WooCommerce button. In the upper menu, you can configure WooCommerce general settings such as store settings, products, shipping, payment methods, accounts and privacy for your customers and so on. Below the WooCommerce button you'll see some of the quick navigational links to your orders, coupons, store reports, settings, etc. Below it is the product management, which can be considered part of the WooCommerce, but it is displayed as a separate subcategory here, for easier management of your own products. Ok, let's now set up WooCommerce general settings. Click on the WooCommerce button in the dashboard and click settings. Make sure that you're in the general tab and here you can enter your store address, confirm the country, the zip code, set the currency in which you want to charge your customer and also set to the countries to which you want and do not want to ship. Take your time and configure the settings according to your, your needs. Since WooCommerce is very widely used software, if th there is something that you do not understand, just use Google. I assure you that there are thousands of tutorials for this initial setup of WooCommerce and WooCommerce themselves also has a great documentation. So after filling the general setting store for your store and configuring where are we going to sell, make sure to click save button after you made these changes because that is the only way in which changes will be saved. So we now configured some of the basic settings and now we're going to create WooCommerce pages. So WooCommerce needs some default pages in order to work properly such as checkout page or the my account page and so on. Good thing is that WooCommerce will do all of this stuff on the back end so you do not have to do a large amount of customization. But first let's check status of our WooCommerce store. Go to WooCommerce and click on the status. In system status you can check the store and host basic information. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. The missing pages error will be clearly marked. For some reason my host did not import all of these pages. If you see any of the errors here, that's really nothing to worry about. We'll fix that. So the system tool not only checks the missing pages for us but all sorts of settings into WooCommerce and it is very smart idea to check it from time to time. While you're in the status page head back to the tools tab in the upper corner. Click on it, scroll down to the page and locate the create default WooCommerce page and click on the create page button on the right. Once you do that on top of the page you should see a message which will say that all the missing WooCommerce pages were successfully installed. To verify that everything is working as expected go back to WooCommerce status and check if WooCommerce display errors in the missing pages section. It is very likely that some of the pages won't be imported. In this case, the terms and condition page has not been created, so let's create our first page in WooCommerce. In your menu dashboard, go to Pages and click Add New. Adding the page is very similar to writing an email. You need to enter the title in the first tab here and also the body text here. You can use the terms and condition generators online or you can create the terms and condition page yourself. Take your time, write everything you want here and once you're done click on the blue publish button here. While we are here we are going to create another page called the privacy policy. Head on to pages, add new and repeat the same process like when adding the terms and conditions page. In the title write privacy policy and add page text in the body section here. You can also use online tools to create privacy policy pages and configure them according to your own policy. Take your time to do this and once you're done click on the publish. 
So now we need to let WooCommerce know which page is which and they will assign a certain function to that page. In the WooCommerce tab, go to Settings. In the upper tab here, go to Advanced. From the drop-down menu, select Terms and Condition page. When you do that, click on the Save button. WooCommerce is an open source project and it also tackles and handles privacy of your customers very well. They have a feature where your customer need to add their consent and agree to terms of service and privacy policy prior to purchasing, which makes it GDPR compliant according to European laws. In the WooCommerce tab, click Settings and Account and Privacy. Locate the Privacy page from the drop-down menu and select it. Don't forget to click the Save to save the changes. If you want to verify that you assign the pages properly, always go to WooCommerce system and check for any errors. In the next video, I'll show you how to create the product categories for your products.